Hello, thank you so much for clicking this video today. I really appreciate it. It's an exciting one. The phase two for the Midnight Glacier airdrop has begun, and I'm gonna be showing you guys today how you can actually mine night tokens directly from your computer. Uh, browser, you know, desktop is what works. You know, mobile phones do not work from what I've read so far from the Midnight team, so you do have to do this on desktop. We're going to give you guys all the details today. We're going to make it quick. We're going to go step by step on how you guys can get mining. The phase actually opened up today. We can now go into the website. We can set a destination address and we can get mining. I'm not sure how much we're going to make. You know, this is actually going to, you know, go for about 21 days. So essentially, you're going to be able to keep earning night tokens every day until November 19th of 2025. And we're just gonna jump right into it. Let me pull up my screen here. We're gonna do a step-by-step -step guide. We're gonna show you guys how you can do this so we can start mining some night tokens. So this is the main website here. And I wanted to scroll down to uh, this image right here. I'll try to zoom in a little bit for you guys. So if you look here on the left, we're gonna do this, You know, choose a destination address, accept the terms of service, and then solve cryptographic challenges. And you can see right here, the miner status, active. That means things are working. Current challenges, your estimated claim, your amount of night that you're gonna get. And this snapshot actually updates every 24 hours. So you wanna keep your computer running uh, this entire time. You wanna keep it on, keep the browser open, You know, change some of your settings in your PC. If you search settings on your PC, you go to power settings, you can turn the screen turn off and the power turn off so that this is actually going to keep mining. So we're going to go actually to the claim phase, claim now phase here. So the now we're, we're in this claim now phase. I'm going to zoom this in a little bit for you guys. We'll go ahead and click get started. So I actually just set up a new wallet. Oh, hold on, it's still showing the old screen for you guys. Let me uh, share the new one. Sorry about that. Share screen. Go to. Okay, so now that you guys can see this, you see a choose a destination address. That's what we're gonna do first. I just set up a brand new wallet for this on Eternal. You don't have to. I actually read directly here from the Midnight Foundation. Can we use the same address that we used for the phase one of the Midnight Drop? And Midnight responded, yes, you can use the same destination address that you use for the Glacier airdrop, provided that that address doesn't have any new transaction history. So we're gonna go back to this page here. We're gonna connect our eternal wallet. And then what we have to do now is actually sign a message after we read the terms of service. So I've got a destination address here set in a brand new wallet. We're gonna click next. We have the terms of service in here. Go ahead and give that a read if you're interested. And then we're gonna scroll down, accept and sign. So now we're gonna be signing a message and I'm gonna pull up my Trezor here so we can get this done. Okay, so I've got my Trezor signed in. We're gonna go ahead and sign this payload on my Trezor and you should have a pop-up uh, with your wallet here. Uh, for you guys. So I'm going ahead, I'm signing the payload right now on my Trezor device. And this is just like a normal sign. It's a normal transaction, but you're not actually spending any ADA to sign this transaction because it's just a message. Okay. I just click confirm on the Trezor and now the transaction's popping up. So I'm agreeing to the terms of service with a message transaction, and then it's signed. So now we're loading the scavenger mine phase here and you can see my estimated claim is zero. This is normal. We just signed up for it. Estimated share is zero. We just signed up for it. And then the snapshot is going to be updating every 24 hours. This video, I'm recording this about 9.15 a.m. EST. So about 10 hours from 9 a.m. EST, the scavenger mine phase is going to begin. So by you setting this up now, I imagine you're gonna be eligible for that first snapshot that comes up here. So being early kind of helps you a little bit here. This is only going for 21 days, so you don't wanna miss any of the snapshots. And then you can see kind of a, a full breakdown uh, of what's going on here, right? And as I showed you on this first page here, on the home page, this is what it's gonna look like uh, once it's actually working. 
You're going to see some night, you know, estimated amounts of claim, your estimated share, and then you're going to see the mining st status as active. If we go here, we're on inactive, but that's okay. This is going to start and be active once this 10 hour mining phase begins here. So this is a great way to get some night tokens for free on your desktop and computer. This is essentially how you mine the night tokens. And it's a great way to be a part of a new network that's launching privacy and I think shaking things up in the cryptocurrency industry. So if you enjoyed this video and you want to support my channel, uh, stake to the Bloom stake pool on Cardano and check out atrium.io. When somebody asks you what is Cardano, you give them atrium.io. We've got a full education portal there. We've got a social FI ecosystem, and we also have staking baskets that allow you to delegate to 50 pools at one time and earn additional rewards on top of your native tokens. It's all live, atrium.io on Cardano Mainnet. If you're excited to mine night and you made it till the end of the video, let me know by, down below by saying uh, I'm mining night. But happy uh, Tuesday. I hope you guys all have a good rest of your day. Bye-bye.